were down now in Sydney graduating. Mm. What does it mean to graduate? <laughs> my English name is Nathan Schreiber. Uh, my language name is Jijenji, and I'm a Gonganji man from uh, this beautiful place called Yaraba. Uh, my father's family have always lived here and they, we're still here. Um, this is our home. And through that family line, um, I stand here uh, happily now on country as a qualified teacher, uh, working in the, both the primary school and the high school here. The principal at the time, he approached me and asked if I was interested in um, bringing uh, first language, trying about bringing that back. Uh, as a way of trying to get our kids back to school. Pretty much said to the principal, um, if you want me to run this program or have a go at running this program, you have to let me do it my way. It has to be from the community and built from the ground up. When I started out, I remember it was only 250, 300 words and it was a word list. There's no, there's still no grammar, um, historical data, documents around the grammar for our language. Another challenge is getting the correct pronunciation of our words. We've got limited resources to call upon, you know, we've only got a few songs and that is a big challenge, you know, making sure that we're saying our words the way that they're meant to be said. A lot of our elders didn't get the opportunity to learn the language because they were taken away from their parents. There are a few generations within our community who have the desire to learn, who, who want to know more, I go in there respectfully and, and it's me learning from them, but at the same time I'm saying, well, this is some stuff I've found, let's talk about this. We go on this big yarn about what this one word could mean. It, it, you know, this one word could have a connection to country, it could be uh, something to do with family links, and it just opens up this treasure box of, of information and knowledge that's, that's held within our elders. Seeing our kids now relearn our language in a classroom environment is a very special thing. I know we, we can't go back in, in time, and we can't go back to the way things were, but we can do something about it. <laughs> if I could give any advice to Indigenous young people, if you're feeling like at the moment it's not a place for you or it's not something that you're comfortable with, education is more than power. It's actually freedom. Graduating today, um, it's huge, it's, it's a huge step. And, and it's not just for me. Like the whole, the whole reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is for my people. So. started originally to train Aboriginal people, Aboriginal community members, to be Aboriginal education assistants in schools. Ngayo Bukulbama Wagoja Jenji, ngajen bolba goro golo, gonganji, ngapi bama walaburi, bolba mugoi, yingo jabu, merbenai, mayui, balawupi, ngajen bimbi, ngayu wagoja, ngajen kare kare, ngapi bama goro golo, gonganji.